comment, raise your hands. Look, I was really um, pleased with the way we played in the second half. Uh, I thought we didn't play poorly in the first half. We just turned the ball over, didn't finish drives in the red zone. Uh, gave him the ball on the eight yard line, which is when they got the touchdown. So, um, but, you know, at halftime, in games like this, we knew this would be a tough game. We had a tough game with these guys last year. We know what kind of team they are. Um, well coached, played with a lot of toughness. Is this is when you find out who you are and uh, how bad you want to do what you want to do. So, I thought the guys came out and responded really well in the second half. And, you know, the big play from Jake to. You know, Calvin was a big momentum changer in the game. Uh, and I think from that time on, we dominated pretty well until they hit the scramble pass, you know, at the end. You know, their quarterback did a really good job of really hard to sack. Um, the guy's very elusive, and uh, we did a good job of pressuring him, but he got out of there a couple times on us and hurt us a few times with the scramble pass, as well as scrambling for a couple first downs. But uh, all in all, you know, I thought our defense played extremely well in this game. Uh, and I thought, you know, we moved the ball effectively on offense. We just didn't finish a couple times in the red zone and got to take care of the ball. We can't turn the ball over. That's, that's going to be real critical for us. And uh, even though we got one turnover in the second half, uh, I thought the field position was really good and the kicking game had a lot to do with that. J.K. did a good job with the punting, uh, except, you know, the one that was partially blocked was not his fault. It was a breakdown in protection. And, uh, you know, kickoff coverage did a great job of putting them in bad field position. And, and then the return game, you know, also changed field position a couple times on punts. So, um, big play in the game was, you know, stopping their little fake punt thing, um, which we knew they had. And um, I think our players did a good job of rallying because we really were in a return. But very, very proud of the way our players responded to the challenge. And I think it speaks a lot of the competitive character of the team. and. I'm uh, really excited about how we played in the second half. Nick, right side there to we'll start. Nick, you mentioned you knew they had the fake punt. Did they tip it or did you tell your guys to watch out for it? Out there? No, we told them to watch out for it. You know, we've been going to punt safe and we had a little better field position. And uh, I didn't know if they'd do it, so we had a return on. But, um, you know, we had practiced that against the return as well. And the guys did a good job of responding to it. Okay, back over here with Michael. Yeah, Jake uh, threw a couple of interceptions, but came back uh, and kind of get that big touchdown. How did he assess the night overall? Well, you know, you never want a guy to throw any interceptions. And, you know, the one was a bad interception, uh, the first one, where, you know, he kind of threw it up and uh, the free safety intercepted it. You know, the second one was just a little bit high, came off the receiver's hands, so it was a tip ball. Um, then we got the penalty on top of that, which gave him the ball at the eight yard line. So, you know, you never want those. They, one was a bad decision, one was not a bad decision. Um, and he, he made some really good throws. And, and we got to do a better job of protecting. And we got to be a little bit more consistent in our ability to block, you know, movement up front, which was a little bit of an issue for us in this game and probably gave us a few too, too many negative plays. In the middle with Matt. Nick, two questions. First of all, with Calvin tonight, what did you see from him, Calvin Ridley? And what was the design on the, the touchdown? What were you guys looking for? What did you see? That it well, up? you know, to, they play quarters coverage almost all the time in the field and a roll up corner cover two into the boundary if you really know what that means. I mean, so you're asking me what we saw. I can't tell you in layman terms, but uh, you send one guy down to eat the safety and you run a post on the other guy and he gets no help from the safety. So um, that was the design of the play. And when you play that a lot, you know, everybody runs that pattern against quarters cover. You know, we were fortunate to catch a minute when we called it. That's what we wanted, to, what we were looking for, and uh, ran a great route, and it was a great throw. So, uh, really big play in the game. And, and what did you guys do? What was behind limiting their, their running back out of Collins like you guys did? Well, you know, we played straight up base defense. I mean, we, we did a pretty good job against them last year. Um, you know, they got a really good offensive line. Our guys is all, are always up for the challenge when they play against a good running team, and this is certainly a really good running team. And, um, you know, overall, I thought we did a really good job of staying in our gaps and controlling line scrimmage, and um, that was a real key because when these guys gain five and six yards on you on first down, they're always in a negative down of distance. It gets difficult to 
um, play that we've created a lot of third and long situations, which um, is easier to pressure and easier to play coverage on. So it all kind of wraps up into helping you play good defense. Front here with Mark. Just sort of piggybacking on that. What do you see from Reggie Ragland tonight? It seemed like he was kind of all over the place. Reggie played a really good game tonight. He had lots of tackles and you know knocked down a couple balls and uh, really was a, a, a good leader out there. So, you know, Reggie's played well for us all year, and we were, this was probably one of his best games. Right up front here with Dwayne. Coach, you wanted to see consistency after last week. You wanted to see if they could maintain that from last week. What was your assessment of that week? Well, you know, I think we played a different kind of team today. Um, and I think if we finished the drives in the first half and scored points and no missed two field goals and dug kind of ball over, uh, everybody would be saying, did great. Moved the ball, out gained them, you know, almost two to one if they didn't hit a 54 yard pass in the end. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of things that need to be corrected that we need to work on uh, so that we can improve. So, because we got lots of challenges, you know, ahead of us starting this week. So, um, I didn't think there was any kind of letdown. I thought the players played hard. I thought they were physical. I thought they played with a lot of effort. Uh, we just did not, we didn't always execute um, as well as we like, especially on offense in a couple of situations. Um, so we just got to learn to be more consistent. When we're focused, when we prepare well, and we're focused, we seem to play really well. But I was really pleased with the way we played the second half. In the middle with John. How challenging was it for the offensive line to impose its will against that Arkansas defensive front and just kind of what progression did you see over the course of the game? Well, you know, their defense does a great job. I mean, they, they don't load the box a lot. Um, their guys do play with a lot of discipline up front. Uh, they get off blocks. The nose guard's difficult to block. Um, 51 is an outstanding player for Mike Linebacker. Um, but they, they, they just really do a great job of um, – they can run. Secondary doesn't give up very many big plays, and we were fortunate to make a big one against them tonight. So this is a really good defensive team, and um, you know I'm sure when we watch the film, we're not going to be pleased all the time with how we got how we blocked them. Um, but at the end of the day, we did what we needed to do to have success in the game. Two more, Alex and then Scott. It looked like the plan early on was to establish the passing game. Was that the, the idea going in, or what was the I'm, plan? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It looked like the plan was to establish the passing game early. Was that the, the plan going into the game, or did that just happen? Are you asking me if our plan was to stop their passing game? Start the pass. To establish your passing game. Establish the pass. You know, a lot of those things that are passes are run pass options. All right, so it depends on what the defense plays as to whether you run the ball or you throw a bubble pass or a slant or whatever. Uh, and the right decisions were made and we moved the ball effectively. So uh, it's not like we we're just calling drop back passes. So, and, and I think that's, that's part of modern day football. So we weren't trying to establish the pass. We were calling running plays that had passes attached to them. So when they were in certain defenses, we threw the passes instead of running. I think everybody does that. Last one, Scott. It seemed like uh, you made Brandon uh, comfortable in the second half of the pocket, and Jake got more comfortable. Can you elaborate on both those? You said key to the game. Well, I, I think that you know, um, you know, we had a couple times where he scrambled, and we even rushed three guys and had one guy spying in the mirror, and you know, he still beat that guy and got out the box and ran and. Um, but our guys did a pretty good job of pushing the pocket. I mean, even on the last play where they hit the touchdown, that was just a, you know, it was a great scramble by him to extend the play. And uh, we were playing 502 deep man. And, you know, when people scramble, you know, it takes a lot of discipline in the secondary to stay on your man, to stay in coverage and not lose your guy. If you look back at the quarterback, you're going to lose him. And that's what happened. So um, it was a really good play by him. But I, I was pleased with the pressure that we got on him. And the way we pushed the pocket, you know, last year we tried to pressure them a lot and, and uh, with five and six man rushes, and they just killed us with crossing routes. So that really wasn't the plan today, and we didn't do it a lot. When we did it, it was effective.
Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.